I am. My name is Nikki Star of Nikki Star at Home. I do fun DIYs, lifestyle, decor, hair care, girl chats, a lot of fun home stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my pre-fall haul. I'm so excited about fall. I'm so excited. Here is why. I just moved to Atlanta from a really, you know, considering the home that I live in now, tiny apartment in LA and I've moved into this beautiful McMansion and I am just having the best time decorating it and I'm so excited for the fall because living in LA, you don't have a fall. It's not as festive as I would love for it to be and it's so festive down here. There's so much decorating to do and I am so excited to finally get started. Full disclosure, I started my fall shopping in June. <laughs> Here's why. All of the stores down here have been putting their stuff out really, really early. So I have been picking up pieces ever since June. And now that fall is vastly approaching, a lot more stores are putting out more stuff. So I've been back and forth to Marshall's, Kirkland's, Pop Show, a new store that just opened in my neighborhood and I'm obsessed with it. I've also been to Joann's, Michael's, all over the place. I've been all over the place and I'm so excited to share with you guys my pre-fall haul. Here's why I call it my pre-fall haul. Because like I said before, I have been picking up things since June and I don't really know if some of these things are going to work in certain places so I've just been picking up things a little mix match mod podge of things not sure if they'll work didn't really go into the stores shopping with a fall idea in mind yet because everything is not fully out in the stores as of today so now in about a week or two I'm lying I'm gonna go tomorrow but you know when I go later in the season I'll be able to have a clear vision of what I'm going to do I've just been picking up stuff because I'm just so excited I'm so excited that the season is changing and that I can finally have a fall. I'm finally living in an area that has four seasons. Three. <laughs> but still, still, it's going to get cold enough here for me to wear a jacket. It's raining so I can wear my cute little rain boots. I love it. So now, let's get into it. The first store that I'm going to start off with is... I guess I'll just start off with Marshalls because I got a lot of the bigger pieces from Marshalls. Now, the first thing that I got from Marshalls was this. <laughs> this light up pumpkin sign. Oh God, I hope you can see me. This light up pumpkin sign. So this is one of the signs that I got from Marshalls. It's too cute. It's one of those, of course, light up signs. Let me show you how it lights up. my kitchen or in my living room this is a part of my pre-fall right because I don't have anywhere for it to go when my sister gets here who is the decorator of all decorators we'll hash out a plan and a vision and then we'll execute it but right now I've just been picking up things because I'm excited and this was something I could not pass up I could not pass this up hey pumpkin and then oh child's a little tall and it has a little pumpkin on the bottom so cute so cute. It's a little massive, so it may go in my living room. Not sure. But this is one of the first things that I picked up when I was pre-fall haul shopping. <laughs> Where does it end? I also picked this up. I also picked this up. I will say, I ordered this online. I didn't know it was this big. They had the measurements. I just didn't bother measuring. It just looked, the way they had it displayed, well, at least in the pictures, it looked a lot smaller. But it's like an inch smaller than my pumpkin um, light-up sign but I still love it. It lights up as well, but I broke the um, this little thing, the little fake thing that lets you light, yeah, that lets you light them up, but I just gotta put, <laughs> it fell off, but I just gotta put batteries in it and it'll be fine. But this says, hello, fall. La 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 la, la 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 la. Adorable. This may go on my kitchen, cause it's not as big as a pumpkin sign, but I don't know. I don't know. Another thing. I just picked it up. No vision. I just had to have it. Ah, I love being a woman. Next up is this. Guys. <laughs> Guys, this is a, um, I think it's velour. I think it's velour fabric. This is a velour fabric uh, mini pumpkin wreath. It's so adorable. So cute. Fun story about this. Last year, I was in Marshalls, and I saw this, 
And I, and I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to get it for my Atlanta house. So I left it in the store just because this time last year we were packing because we were not going to spend the holidays in LA. We had an apartment in Atlanta that we were going to stay throughout the holidays while we were looking for a home. So I didn't bother decorating because we weren't going to be there. I kind of wish I would now. Kind of wish I would have, but I'll do it with my uh, new LA apartment. I saw it in the store and I was just like, yeah, I'll save it for my Atlanta apartment. And listen, girl, you know I went crazy. You know I was just like, oh my God, this is prophecy. When I walked into the Marshalls and I saw it, I was just like, I prophesied this moment. I prophesied it, baby. And here we are. Here we are. It looks so cute on my door. It's so adorable. I will say they went up on the price. Last year, this was $19.99. This year it was $24.99. I didn't mind because this is something I'm going to have for a very long time. I will say it rains a lot in Atlanta. I didn't know that. Didn't know it rained every damn day here. <laughs> um, that's new for me. So um, I don't know how long this is going to stay outside. I think what I may do if it continues to rain as much as it does, I think I'll put this in the home. I may put it in my kitchen, I'm not sure. But if the weather does not permit, I'm definitely going to keep this inside and then get this huge, obnoxiously huge, I love it, Martha Stewart fall wreath that you're going to see in my shot with me video. I left the store, but I have not been able to stop thinking about it since I left uh, Marshall's. No, home goods. So I think I might go back and get that because that seems weatherized. This is not weatherized. If you live in a, um, a warmer climate where there's little to no rain, like LA, this would be perfect. <laughs> this would be perfect. I wanted this for my Atlanta home and it turns out that it's perfect for my LA home. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Should I take it to my LA home? No, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. If I can find another one in uh, Marshalls, then I'll get it in LA. So cute. This one is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy, heavy. This is the pumpkin pot from, it's not, what was, what was it? Come on. Smith and Clark. I actually wanted this pot. If you guys have been following for, <laughs> following me for a long time, you know the story behind this. So I have the Stop pumpkin pot and uh, orange. I wanted the black one. I've always wanted the black one, but it was always out of stock. And I found it at a, um, take that off. I found it on Amazon and it was like $400. Listen, I wanted the pot so bad I would have spent that money. However, I can't verify if, you know, the person who was selling it, if it's real or if it's a fake. I'm in a stop group on Facebook, a stop lovers. A pot lovers Facebook group and I'm in a um La Cruze um, in America we say Lake Cruze um cookware lovers right and there's always resellers selling fakes I have come across so many posts of people getting duped so I just left that there and was just like you know what whenever Stav decides to bring that pot out I'll buy it again so I walk into Marshall's because that's what I do every weekend <laughs> Um, no, it wasn't Marshall's. Actually, it was Home Goods. It was Home Goods, but they're owned by the same company. Um, so I walk into Home Goods and I see this, but in white. I see it in white, and I was just like, you know what? I wanted the black one, but I'll get the white one because it's just as cute and I could decorate with that as well. So I'm online looking for my pumpkin sign, and I see this. I see the same pot, the same Smith and Clark pot that I have in white right here online and I just decided to buy it. Unfortunately, it arrived with a little chip. Yeah, right there. So it's chipped on the top. Um, I'm going to have to return it. Unfortunately, they are out of sock. So I'm just gonna have to try my luck in store. I'm gonna try my luck in store first. If I cannot find it in store, then instead of returning it, I think what I'll do is like go to like Color Me Mine and see if there's anything that they can do. If they can match the enamel or or if I could get like a ladybug or a tiny, you know, enamel pumpkin and like get them to melt it on there. I don't know, but I still want to salvage this somehow if I can. It's not that noticeable far away, but I notice it and it bothers me. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do about it. I'm not quite sure yet. I really just got this for Halloween, so I don't think it'll be that big of a deal, but I actually do like to cook in this. I have the white one and I cook in that 
a lot. I will say, if you are a collector, just invest in the Staub Pumpkin Pot. Here is why. The quality is just better. This is a dupe. It looks just like it, but it does not perform like the Staub Pumpkin Pot. But I like it. Once that Staub White Pumpkin Pot goes on sale on Williams Sonoma like it does every year, that's when I'll get it. But as for now, these will do. This will do. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm going to get more use out of the white one. This is just for Halloween. So, you know, you're probably going to see it in October and that's it. But I'm still bothered by that chip. Choices, choices, choices. What to do? So that's it for Marshall slash Home Goods. Same company. TJ Maxx as well. Same company. But that's it for that. Next up is the Dollar Tree. I don't know why I've never walked into a Dollar Tree. I think just because of where I live, there's just been more 99 cent stores than Dollar Trees, but my God today, Dollar Tree is amazing. I finally understand the hype. I got so much stuff from them. Let me show you. So as soon as I walked into the Dollar Tree, um, the first thing that I saw was this glitter. Oh, where's the stem? Oh no, my stem came off. It's $3, but oh no. There it is, it's back on. The first thing that I saw was this glitter pumpkin. How cute, how cute. It's so cute. Like it's absolutely something that I could have made, but where am I gonna find the materials, right? I was looking for styrofoam pumpkins. They're selling them for like $8 plain. Not even painted. It just is more financially feasible to just buy this $3 already decorated styrofoam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I actually got two of these and then I got this. This right here is just a decorative pumpkin. So when I walked into the Dollar Tree, this was one of the first things that I saw. It was right next to my glitter. <laughs> the stem keeps on coming off. I am going to have the E6000 this stem now. But this was one of the first things that I saw and right on a row with like all of these glittery pumpkins like this was this. When I saw this, I was shocked. Here is why. Martha Stewart has a three tier pumpkin just like this. Like this looks just like the Martha Stewart uh, fall collection three stack pumpkin. Same stem and everything, right? So the first thing I said when I saw this, I was just like, Martha Stewart got a collab with the Dollar Tree? How did I not know about that, right? So I pick it up and I look, I'm looking for the Martha Stewart sign and I see that it's just the Dollar Tree and that this is $5. Of course I picked it up. Listen, I am a Martha Stewart hoe. However, my good sis has been going up on her prices. Her Macy's collection, it was not looking that expensive last year. I know we're dealing with inflation, but Martha, let's be serious. I've seen the reviews on some of them acorn soup pots. It doesn't matter, I'm still gonna get it. I'm still going to get it, but I was just floored by like how expensive some items in her collection have gotten, like just really out of control financially. Huge difference, huge difference. And I know this because I bought a few of uh, Martha Stewart Macy's fall collection items the last season and the prices were very different and some of the same things are there. But they are not the same price that I paid last year and I paid full price because that stuff don't go on sale till Christmas. Anyway, um, after finding out that Martha Stewart was not involved in this, I still put it in my cart. Love you, Martha, but this is the same thing and this is exactly what I wanted. I may go back and get another one in a different color, but still, uh, this is my pre-fall haul. I'm not quite yet sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just picking up fall cute stuff. Also from the Dollar Tree, I got these right here. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with them. They're just these little glitter decorative pumpkins. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them. I was thinking about putting them in a pumpkin planner and putting in some faux flower, faux, look at me, some faux flowers. <laughs> and a pumpkin planner I maybe decorate with this. I think that's what I may do, because I really like this. And then I got some fall garland. This was a dollar. And can I tell you, the guy was trying to pull them apart to try to charge me a dollar a piece for all of these because they all had so many tags. I was like, no, this is a dollar. This is a dollar, go check the sign. They're all like this. I'm not trying to steal or be slick in here. Did you see that viral video of that guy <laughs> or woman? I'm not sure of that person um, 
in the store and they're trying to steal and one of the workers at the store is confronting them. I think they were in a Walmart. I also think it was a sketch. But anyway, the shoplifter says to the worker, broke people steal, I'm shoplifting. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say to that guy, because how dare you? If I want to steal from any store, it won't be the Dollar Tree. I don't care how cute that stuff is. It's like, it's, it's so damn cheap. It's free. I also got some faux flowers that I'm going to be putting in uh, the pumpkin shaped planter that I'm either going to buy or DIY. I saw one on QVC, but it was like 50 bucks. And I'm like, do I really want to do that? And it's not the color that I want. So I think I might just have to DIY it because I can't find the pumpkin planner that I want. The ones that I, the ones that I think are kind of cute are just far too expensive. Not far too expensive, but it's just, I'm not paying for that. If I don't really like it like that, if I'm not gagging. Now, if it was a bedazzled pumpkin planner, something that I could not create if I DIY'd it, then I'll absolutely get it. But I haven't seen that, so not sure. But yeah, I got some of these these faux flowers and these are all for just decorating you know my planters you know just around my living room and such maybe I'll throw a few on my fireplace not quite sure but I bought a bunch so that I could you know play with it a bit all over the home next up is one of my favorite stores that I discovered like a month ago here is how I discovered this store for some reason I never even signed up for this store so I don't know how they got my information somebody sold it to them gin shop Anyway, <laughs> shout out to my star family who came from my review channel. But they sent me an email saying, hey, this store is opening up. If you sign up for our newsletter, you get a free gift when you come into the store on opening day. Baby, let me tell you something. That's how you get me in the store. A free gift? I'm there. I am there. So I signed up and when they opened, I went into the store to pick up my free gift and I just fell in love with the store. The store that I am talking about is Pop Shelf. Now, I have found out that this store is not new. It's just not in any location that I've ever lived in. I'm from Philadelphia. I lived in New York and I lived in uh, Los Angeles. I still currently live in Los Angeles. And now I moved down here. I've noticed that there are a lot of pop shelves in the South. I didn't know anything about this store and I'm so upset that I'm just discovering it because it's amazing. I went into the store with my mother and we lost our minds. We literally went back to that store after we went there on opening day three times after. We went there so much that people were like, hey, it's you guys again. Hey girls, we was like, hey, we're back. They're like, oh, nothing is different. We're like, we don't care. We love this store. We were there every freaking day. We know all of the sales associates at this point and all of the managers. We're obsessed. Here's what I got. I got some more. I got some more flowers. Here is why. I normally get my faux flowers from Michaels, but Michaels is just too expensive. These were at Pop Shelf for like a dollar, two dollars. Some of them were three, but the majority of the flowers that I got were like a dollar and two dollars. These, these rival Michaels. These flowers are my taller flowers, and I got the taller flowers because I wanted to put them in this. I got this gather together. So cute, right? I got this gather together pot last year at Marshall's and I actually did use this to decorate just a bit in my home in Los Angeles. It was such a hit. It was so cute in the doorway. Everybody loved it. I was just like, I have to make sure this gets to Atlanta because I'm absolutely decorating with it. And here's what I wanted to do. So that's why I got these bad boys because I wanted to do something like this. Oh my God, it's so cute. And I'm not like even like fully finished. This was just a quick little thing just to show you guys the look. But this is what I wanted to do. And I'm looking at the prices now. These were all a dollar. These daisy and sunflower stems were a dollar from Pop Shelf. Girl, they had a cute fall collection. If you live by a pop shelf, get there, get there, get there, get there. I also got this, this little uh, harvest scented pine cones, glitter pine cone selection. This was $3. I could not leave it in the store because guys, this smells so good. It smells so good and it has glitter acorns, right? Pine cones, pine cones. There you go. So cute. And it smells so good. This smells like a pumpkin spice bakery. I couldn't leave it. I don't know why I got one. Why did I get one? I 
gotta go back and get more but it also has this cute little um scented glitter pumpkin so cute so cute the whole thing is so nice it's so nice and it smells so good i'm going to get more why I got one, girl, I was just overwhelmed. I think I was overwhelmed and overstimulated and I was just so excited about being around so much fall stuff that I probably just picked up a bunch of stuff. I also got this pumpkin chai candle from Pop Shelf. This was $5. I normally don't spend that much for candles because um, I make my own. If you don't know that about me, I make my own candles. If I do buy candles, it's normally from Bath and Body Works because I like the decorative tins that are also reusable and I love their candle holders. But I normally don't spend as much on candles because I make my own, but this candle smells so good. Guys, this pumpkin chai candle, uh, it's like a mature fall. You know what I mean? I'm not talking elderly. There's nothing wrong with being an elderly, but I'm talking more like modern, upscale millennials with no children <laughs> geriatric millennials with no kids who live in like a condo in brooklyn you know what i mean that's what i get from this it's very descriptive but that's what i get from this here's what it looks like up close it's so cute and sexy and it just smells so good ah oh, can't wait ah! Next up is another store that I never knew existed, but I became completely obsessed with it. Why? Because it was literally right across from the pop shelf that my mother and I went to to get our free box and we stayed for everything else. So we looked across the street and we saw this store called Kirkland's. Now, I only know about Kirkland's from grocery store products that are located in Ralph's or Costco. I'm thinking that that's what this store is i just looked at my mom and i was just like you know what since we're here let's just walk over and check out this store as well to see why kirkland's has its own grocery store because it didn't make sense i'm like if you have your own grocery store why are you selling products to other markets anyway we walked over there we walked in and we were amazed amazed we were so overstimulated that we only walked out with a little bit of things. We plan to go back to get some more stuff, but we had so much stuff from Pop Shelf, so much stuff from Home Goods. We were just like, you know what? This is too much. We're too obsessed with this store right now. We have to come back when we're more sensible or we will just impulse buy. And we had already done enough impulse buying, so we needed to dial it back. Dial it back. Anyway, this is what I got. I got this pumpkin spice cream uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, and pumpkin scented candle wax melts, right? They're called wax melts. That doesn't sound right. Natural wax blend scented melts. This has to be another name, a better name, wax melts. We got to find something else, but this smells divine. It does smell a bit like Pop Shelf's uh, pumpkin chai candle that I just showed you because it's like a pumpkin flavor, like a pumpkin scent, but it's just a bit more modern, a bit more modern, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I am a sweet scent and sweet candle kind of girl. My family is not, so we need to have like a mixture in certain places so that everybody can feel comfortable. I also got these little scented packets. This one is called Passion Flower. I'm gonna put this one in my bathroom. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. How I ended up with these packets, I got passion flower and I got watermark. I think I want to put this one in my room. How I ended up with these scents is when we walked in Kirkland, the smell was just delicious. When we were checking out, I asked the young lady, what was the scent? Like this store smells divine. Is it a oil diffuser? Is it a candle? Like what is the scent that's in this store? And she told me that the scent is all of the packets. So it's all of the packets that they have on display, just mixing together and blending and creating this beautiful scent in the store. I bought a few, my mom bought a few, and now we're just gonna place them throughout the house and, and hopefully our home will smell like a Kirkland's. Let's get to the main girl who's been that girl for seasons, Target. And you know where I got this from, the Target $1 and $5 bin collection. <laughs> I got this. I couldn't walk away from it. I could not walk away from it because 
how can you walk away from a pumpkin glass jar? A pumpkin shaped glass jar. How could you walk away? This was five bucks. It's so cute. I think I'm just gonna put candy in it to just have in the house because the candy that I'm gonna put out for the kids is gonna be in a jack-o'-lantern shaped candy jar or whatever things that they carry when they go trick-or-treating. But this is just gonna be for the house. I'm going to put like some, you know, sophisticated Halloween candies in here. No Kit Kats and stuff like that. Not saying that a Kit Kat isn't sophisticated, but I wanna do some specialty candies from like C's and um, Dylan's Candy Bar and Sprouts. Like this is the kind of candy that you would put in something like this. So I'm really excited about it. I'm probably gonna put this in my kitchen, maybe in the living room, not sure, but I just could not walk away. I could not walk away. And this is still there. There's like a ton of them. I went into a different Target like a few days later, a bunch, they must have restocked, but a bunch of them are still there. Right next to the Tabitha Brown collection and I could not get anything because everything was gone. And, oh wait, I think I got a cup. Where the hell is my Tabitha Brown cup? I think my mom took it. Mom, I apologize, I found the cup. So this was the only thing that I could get from the Tabitha Brown collection because everything that was left was stuff that I didn't need. But I got this, a really cute cup. Really cute cup. I wanted some other things, but everything was sold out. This will do. I like it. It's cute. Ciao. I was looking through all of my boxes and bags and bins of stuff, and I forgot about this. This is 30 count lead leaf light. So basically, this is what I'm going to put over my fireplace with like candles and all kind of uh, decorations. It lights up. I haven't lit it up yet, but this is $5 from the Dollar Tree. You will see everything put out and decorated with when I put up my um, decorate with me video. I don't know if I'm going to keep everything. I don't know if some stuff is going to go back. I don't know if some stuff is just going to be stored away for another fall. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. But this is where we're starting and Lord knows where we're going to end. But it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I know it. I know it. I also got these two cute pumpkins from Joann's. I love Joann's. I can't believe they had so much stuff. I cannot believe they had, they had more stuff in my opinion than Michael's. I went to Joann's because my Michael's was dry boots. Joann's? I didn't know Joann's was like that. The Joann's in LA does not have all of this false stuff. That was another store that I was just overstimulated in and I had to walk out but I couldn't leave these because they had to sell. It was like buy one, get the other one 50% off so I had to and I need the pumpkins. To my Lee Crusette girlies, get to that website now. Lee Crusette La Cruze is having a factory to table sale and everything is deeply discounted. They are also selling stuff on the site that you cannot get in the US. I got the Balti dish. Balti, Balti, Balti. You can only find this in India. They do not sell it anywhere, not even at the outlets. And girl, I have been looking. I have been looking, but when I saw this on the site, I said, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. And it's in the color that I wanted, which was the flame collection. If you guys have been following me, you know that my goal is to get every piece from the flame collection and then just mix it up with other items from uh, La Cruze. But I'm going to get the complete collection in flame. I just love it. I just love it. And it's perfect for the fall. So that was a new item. This one had come like a week before because I had, you know, been shopping on that site for a while now. And this is actually a pumpkin shaped dish. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'm gonna put pumpkin cookies in it, pumpkin cupcakes, candy, I don't know, but it's just so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous and it goes with my flame collection. Look at that, I'm so excited. It's coming together, it's coming together. I also went to one of my favorite stores, which is World Market, and I was just basically looking for a decor. They did not have a lot of stuff, but they did have a few items that I may go back and get. That's if I still need those things. I feel like I can find better items at different stores. Not quite sure yet, but I have them on the radar. But I could not walk out of a world market without taking these home. And this is the Harvest Multicolor Pasta. You can see it's like, let me show you the back. 
it's pumpkins, it's leaves, it's all kinds of things. And it's so great. It's so cute. It says transform any meal into a festive celebration. Now you know that I have to make a fall festive soup in my stop pumpkin shaped pot with these noodles. Girl, we're just getting started. <laughs> All right, so our last and final store is Bed Bath & Beyond. When I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, I went to do a pickup order because I saw a few items on the store, but they would not deliver them the full order because some was just available at the store and not available for delivery, which is very, very weird, but I you know, wanted the items, so I got them. One of the items that I had to go pick up was this. This is a pumpkin-shaped wax melter. <laughs> and the reason why I got it is because it's going to go with this, the pumpkin wax melts. <laughs> another name that I got from Kirkland so I'm gonna melt these candle wax melts in this wax pumpkin shaped melter continuing on with Bed Bath & Beyond I want to show you guys the reason why I went there for this right I hope that you can see it it says pumpkin spice and everything nice the funny story about this is I purchased an item on Bed Bath & Beyond online that could only be shipped. It could not be delivered to the store. It had to be shipped to me. I couldn't pick it up. I'm fine with that. I was just a little concerned because it was glass. But I also saw this and this was on sale for like a dollar. And I was just like, let me just get this. However, they couldn't ship this to me. I could only pick it up from the store. So I just decided to go to my local Bed Bath & Beyond and pick it up. However, my local Bed Bath & Beyond is not the Bed Bath & Beyond that this cup was located at. It was like deep in Atlanta and I am nowhere close, <laughs> close to where this Bed Bath & Beyond was. And I felt so bad because I went to my local Bed Bath & Beyond and that man was looking all throughout the stock room trying to find this for me and he could not find it and then like 30 minutes after he had been looking I was like oops I sent this to the wrong location or I went to the wrong store and he was like oh <laughs> he was so defeated because he was really a great guy he was really you know putting in the work to look for this item for me but me and him never checked the paperwork so we both just assumed that this item was there anyway I ended up having to travel 30 minutes away from where I live to get this cup that was 99 cents. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life. I'm still not sure if the travel was worth it because this cup ended up being way more than 99 cents with all the travel that I had to put into it. But I got it. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. <laughs> I could have got something like that for like $3 for Marshalls. Girl, let's get into the Fiesta Resistance, Fiesta res whatever. The Beyonce of my fall haul. Um, this right here. This pumpkin shaped, what is it? It's not a planner, what is it? Juice or water dispenser. Guys, listen, this has been a journey as well. This has taken me a year to get. Here is what happened. I saw this last year. If you are a pumpkin pie's hoe like myself or somebody who was shopping for fall items last season, you know that this came and went. Every store had it and every store was sold out as soon as it hit their stock room. So I was just feeling defeated. I was just like, you know what? I'm just not gonna get it. But I forgot that last year I put in a um, notification. I put in my email to say, notify me when this is back in stock. And Bed Bath & Beyond notified me that it was back in stock. So I got it with the quickness. And it's such a God moment because I was actually looking at a set from William Sonoma that was twice the amount of this. But I was going to make it work because I just wanted it so bad. And I actually ended up getting uh, this pumpkin for half the price of what I was about to pay at William Sonoma for the set. And I actually was also able to get two cups to go with it, two pumpkin shaped cups. Let me show you. These pumpkin shaped cups are from B and Willow. I really like this company, this home company. I think they make some really cute things. I, I have a few items from them and I love it. Here we go. Here is the pumpkin shaped cup. And this set was like almost $200 at Williams-Sonoma. 
Am I exaggerating? No, it's William Sonoma. Yeah. So the set was almost like $200, but I was just like, you know what? This is my first fall in Atlanta. I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and do it. But look at God. Look at God. I got a great quality, free shipping, and I got it for half, more than half of what I was trying to pay at William Sonoma. It's meant to be. So guys, that's it. It seems like a lot of stuff, but I'm telling you, when my mom and I brought everything into the home, we were just like, this is not enough. <laughs> we need more stuff. So this is just my pre-fall haul, just things that I just had to get. And I picked up a lot of these things when I was doing my shop with me video, and I just could not leave out the store without picking these items up. But when I go shopping again in about two weeks, fall shopping in about two weeks when I feel like everything is out, that's when I'll start buying with intention and with an idea. But I just had to like get these things. I could not leave them. I feel like they are one of a kind. Some more than others, but I just, I could not leave the stores without taking them home with me. Did you like anything? Let me know. Or do you have some of the same items? If so, let's chat about it in the comments section below. And if you like what you see here, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in another video for something else. I think my next video will be my shop with me video. So yeah, I'll probably see you guys for that. Thank you again for joining me, guys. See you soon. Bye. Happy shopping.